ta 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 What's going on, my lovely Torians? How you doing, love? I understand on this channel, one size does not fit all, okay? I wish it did, but it doesn't. Um, let's see. Let's see what's going on in energy toilets. Toilets, I feel that somebody you're leaving behind, okay? And they don't think they like this. And no, not that they don't, they don't like this. They're not used to this, okay? Taurus is someone that you tried it, you tried again with, okay? Mm, again, I'm getting that energy where someone's missing your smell or something about you. Like, someone's going to miss... There's something, Taurus, that you do for someone that they act like they don't give a damn about it, okay? That one they could care less. I don't care. That's not nothing important, but it, Taurus, it's really important. It's really important you give this person this kind of energy and this love or this affection. There's a certain gesture or something you've done for someone and they'll never get it out of their head. But someone feels towards like they're being left behind here. And it's all got something to do with something new coming into your life, Taurus. I feel like a lot of you, my loves, are going into a new uh, a new chapter. This is something new. This is something that you're experiencing, Taurus. Not for the first time in life, but it's like it's all brand new. All starting to build trust for someone. All the while trying to build, like, you know, different, different new things that you always had for someone from your past or people from your past. You're doing that all over again. You're taking a leap of faith all over again. And might I add, it looks very extremely sexy and sophisticated on you, male or female. It looks really, really nice on you. Okay. I don't know. Some might like some type of amber cologne uh, uh, perfume or something here. What the heck is that? What's that going to do with anything? Spirit, please tell me. Nala? No. Uh-uh, stay away from mama's decks, girl. You already know. Uh-uh, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. All right, Taurus, let's see what the messages are. My dear Taurians, okay? Ah, uh, spirits told me you have to break up deck. What? Okay. All right, Taurus, something new is coming into your life or it's already here. This is absolutely beautiful energy. It's like you feel joyful with this. It feels hopeful for you. It feels hopeful. How are you doing? I, I'm doing a reading, baby. Okay. okay. <laughs> her daddy's supposed to come and get her in a little while, so. Yeah, my, look, waiting game. Look at this. Somebody's sitting around towards waiting things, all right? Somebody's, like, wanting to return, but they're waiting for you to make the move, for you to give them the green light, Taurus, okay? But I feel like you've... I, th I think you've already moved away from this person, Taurus. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, look, as soon as I said that, divorce. Like, somebody's waiting for, like, to play a hand or something, or, like, they're waiting for you to come back and say, oh, you know, this new option's not the best option. No, 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 no. And I got a compliment from some a comment from somebody the other day talking about, well, this reading definitely contradicts the other ones. Excuse me. That's what I really need to ask. This is energy I'm reading. I'm not look, there might be a specific group of Tauruses that may resonate with most most readings, okay? But the energy is to switch up. Like it, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Like, that's why I stopped doing such daily readings. Because like what do you say? You expect every single reading to resonate with you. And then when it doesn't sound like you're reading, you're like, oh, it's contradicting. Oh, look, man. Okay. Like, no. No. You need to stop watching tarot. That's no problem. That's no problem right there. Because now you're going in, all right, with this energy thinking that it, every reading is supposed to be your reading. No. <laughs> From the jump, every reading is not your reading. Hell, a lot of these readings on YouTube are not your readings. You do know that. There are some things you can take out of it. There's some things you can leave behind. But not everything is for you. So make sure y'all are very careful of that, Taurus. Is look, y'all know I love y'all. Crosswalkers, I love y'all too. Y'all be hiding. I know you do. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. But look, man, the energy shifts. The energy changes. There's no way in hell I'm going to make somebody do something, call you up, come back to you. I'm not doing, that's not what I'm here for. If someone decides, if I see them this, uh, on, the, on my table and my spirit guides has guided me and my intuition has guided me to speak what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing, if that's what it is, that's what it is. Now, what that person does with that information, it's all up to them. Do as you will as the other person can do as they will. 
All right? And sit back and mind your business. Manifest whatever you got to do. I'm here to bring out the reading and the energy I'm feeling or what's going on at the time, okay? And reading... Uh, in reading. And... <laughs> And energy is very fluid. So that's why I say one size does not fit all. Please quit assuming because you see um, any reader on YouTube pop up with your sign or maybe something in your, in your moon or anything. And think that's just going to resonate because the other three resonate. Please don't think that way. Uh-uh. Open up the mind, baby. Open up the mind. No, no, no. Not tunnel vision when it comes to these. No. No, no, and no. All right, Taurus, get something that... Someone loves you, Taurus. Somebody that you could be getting a divorce from, Taurus, or somebody that actually divorced you or has spoken of divorce papers, they're like in this waiting game that you want to come back and say, I love you. You know, out here is not greener. It's not better than you. I need you back in my life. Somebody just doesn't want to let you go, but there's new coming in, Taurus. So you get to make that decision. Point blank, period. Practice forgiveness. I feel like, Taurus, a lot of you have already done that. I, I guess that's just what I'm getting. I feel that a lot of you have already done that. You might got somebody else that's holding a vendetta, okay? I don't feel it's you. I just don't feel it's you. I feel like somebody else is unstable without you. And maybe they bought this divorce up, okay, this energy, Taurus, assuming that you were going to be ashamed of it or assuming that you were going to... And it doesn't even have to be literally a divorce, Taurus. It should be a, a separation, my loves, okay? A breakup, a separation, whatever have you, okay? Put yourself where you belong. Do not... Try to shove your ass in a line where there's not any more room for you to be in. You cannot cut in front of other people. If it's not for you, let somebody else. Let them take it. You take what only belongs to you and nobody else. Uh-uh. Don't start that, okay? Shoot. Taurus, y'all remember how I used to be a bit ruthless back in my uh, older readings, man. I don't want to go back to that. I don't. I don't want to babysit, okay? I don't want to babysit. I don't. Not no grown-ass people either, No. It ain't happening. Look, yin energy. We we're just getting through talking about the yin and the yang, okay, in the last reading. Feminine energy. Taurus, you have this very maternal energy, Taurus, okay? You're very, very um hands-on. If you have kids, Taurus, someone loves the way you parent. I don't care if they say, oh, you're the worst parent of all. They're saying things out the side of their neck because they're mad at you that you are moving away from them. All right? It's a waiting game for this person right now because they don't know really what's going to unfold or what's going to happen with you and this new connection you're about to get into. But, Taurus, a lot of you are getting into something new. It don't have to be today. It don't have to be tomorrow. Honey, it's coming. Okay? Whatever spirit says it's time, divine time, whatever says spirit says, Taurus, this Taurus here, stand up. You ready? Because here I am, I'm about to deliver these blessings, and I hope you're ready for them. Now, you can receive them, Taurus, or you don't have to. But somebody's in a waiting game to see if something's going to work out for you. And they're trying to stay discreet, too. But I see right through them, okay? They can put on glasses and hats and, and whatever they want, okay? This person, somebody loves tennis shoes, okay? Somebody loves their sneaker pimp, all right? <laughs> Somebody, somebody's a sneaker pimp. It could be a feminine energy, okay? Doesn't just have to be males that like tennis shoes, y'all. All right? Look, we got Union. I can't make this up, Taurus. There's somebody new coming in. It has been so long since I've gotten this card to come out this deck. I tell you, Taurus. I'm so happy to see it. A Union. Taurus, okay, this is like the lover's card. Wow. Something that's like going to bring you and someone else together. It's like strength. It's like unity. It's beautiful, Taurus. Okay, something new is coming in. I can't even fake the funk, Taurus, all right? It's crazy because at the bottom of that card, it says yin and yang energy. Energy. Somebody that's going to match you, all right? Not exactly match you, Taurus. It's going to be so opposite. It could even be... It could even... Nala, stop it! Mama, what's my cracker be? I don't know. Oh, they're in the fridge, baby. Okay. They're in the fridge. Nala, stop... Don't do that. Stop. No. What's wrong with you? Anyway, it says yin yang energies. It's not somebody, Taurus, that's going to be really okay. That's one thing I said a, a, a little bit ago, Taurus. Be mindful when this offer comes in, or be mindful when you meet this person. You might have already met them. They may not be exactly the way you expect them to be. This could be a fire sign. This could be a water sign. This could be something you're not used to. I'm also getting like a different ethnicity. Okay, maybe they just um, a different background, a different upbringing, different cult cultural differences. All right, but 
whatever it is, Taurus, y'all gonna be so good together if you take this offer. Like, you already got this energy, Taurus. It's very loving, very grounded, very kind, very, like, it's so beautiful. And someone that's sitting in the background waiting on you, okay, that you're letting go of separation, whatever, what ha whatever have you. Could have been a fiance, all right? Somebody just don't believe you you going anywhere. That That's what this is. Somebody like, yeah, go on ahead, be with Taurus. I'll sit here and wait. We ain't, we ain't moving away from each other because we love each other. All right, and this person might think towards you got some type of vendetta or something against them, like you still hold on to hurt. I don't feel you're holding on to any hurt, okay? And if you are towards, let it go. Look, nostalgia and memories in the back of the deck. Don't let that stop you from getting into something new. Please don't, okay? Memories is just that, memories. That's it. People try to go back to people that they already have, they have these precious memories with, and they try to go back and rewrite the memories. No, brother, sister, please. Do not put yourself in those type of complicated positions. You trying to go back and rewrite something that's already been written and it's already been done and gone. And when you keep trying to stick around, hopefully, hoping to get that same uh, puppy love or puppy high, whatever you want to call it, it just it, it destroys things because you you keep not looking at the red flags. This deck, this card is not long. This deck, but let me flip it over. I take full responsibility for my actions now. I screwed up. You see this. You see this? Somebody knows that you're about to come in. Let me just put it under union. Somebody's going to know, Taurus, that you're about to come into union with somebody. And they're going to be sitting there waiting a little too long, Taurus. Somebody might want you to reverse some uh, divorce papers or something because now they understand they love you, okay? Because they see you in union with somebody else or getting along with somebody else. Again, like I said, somebody's calling you bluff. They don't think you're going anywhere. That's for some of you. Please understand, Taurus, okay? I know I got my smart forces here that understand that, but that that comment rubbed me the wrong way. And I know a lot of people gonna sit there and say, "Lauren, ignore the haters." I get that. When you're doing readings like this, you know what I'm saying. And some people say, "Oh, that contradicts the last one." Excuse me. I, I, excuse me. <laughs> you ain't been listening, have you? You ain't been listening. You ain't been listening. I also am doing personal readings, so please understand that. If you need something more on your level by yourself, it don't even gotta be me. There's other readers that offer personal readings. Find someone that you really can dig with and vibe with that you want to actually read into your energy versus with someone else. Or if it ain't got to be about nobody else. Could be just about spirit giving you messages. Then do that. But do not rely on the the the, the collective readings. Two or, two or four, maybe, maybe even five things may resonate. There's no way in hell that every single reading is exactly to the T. I just, I don't believe it. No, no. Cold energy here. Cold, yes, exactly. So when you get in this new connection to us, this new union... This this energy you gonna, you gonna come in cold and somebody like that Taurus still holding up hold things against me because they love me no honey they practice forgiveness they forgive you and they're not giving you any attention so you're assuming that's some type of vendetta honey baby they just going on about their business Taurus is receiving their justice they're receiving their good karma and they're in union with somebody that's gonna match better with them period point blank you can sit there waiting with your tennis shoes all you want okay sit there with the tennis shoes. Being the Lulu, it don't matter, whatever. Okay, Taurus, I'm not saying you don't love or care about this person. Not saying that. You can still have love for somebody from a damn distance. Okay, period, point blank. I feel, Taurus, that you got fed up with somebody and new love and new things are here for you and somebody does not like it. Okay, karma, balance, and justice at the bottom of the deck. Why? Because you see clearly now. Your third eye is wide open. You don't need nobody to guess it for you, Taurus. You know. You know, other people's just hoping you wouldn't see it. We've got the Ace of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Taurus, you ain't going to psych yourself out of this. I see many of you moving forward. I really, truly do. The Ace of Pentacles being handed to you by the hands of God, Spirit. All right, and Seven of Swords in reverse. You've caught on to exactly what it is you need to do to move forward. Like I said at the beginning of this reading, I feel like there's joyful energy. There's hope. You feel there's hope, like maybe everything ain't lost like I thought it was. Maybe I don't really literally have to stay stuck in this unhappy situation where someone keeps using me, abusing me, treating me bad, trying to be hostile towards me, trying to confuse me, you know, trying to make me feel discouraged. I don't need to live like that every day. No, Taurus, this union coming in is not going to be straight up perfect, you know. We ain't never going to argue. We ain't never going to have differences. We're going we gonna to yoke it together. no. You're going to have to work through them differences. But Taurus, the difference I feel here is between somebody you were dealing with before towards someone you're coming towards now, they're going to understand that's going to require work and they're going to stick through it. Somebody you're probably dealing with in the past, Taurus, was used to getting in their way and when things could not go exactly the way they wanted, they would throw it in your face how they was able to go find something else. And what you won't do, someone else will and all that. Taurus, you don't have to deal with people like that. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. 
What you want to do someone else will. Okay, fine. Then go and find that person and release my mother effing ass. Please let me go. Do not hold on to me. People will do that. They will literally hold on to you by a thread. No, no, I'm not even going to say a thread. By a piece of floss and hope towards that you hold on to that. And you don't have to. They make it seem like you have to do that. No, you do not. 15, 15 on the clock when I just said it. Spirit, what's this yin energy? Feminine energy for Taurus. Male or female spirit for Taurus. I love it, you guys. I love this energy. I love it. Some new is about to begin, and you can't even fathom it. Exactly. To the swords. You've been done. You, you've been you've been done enough. You've been done dirty enough. You've been doing uh, a lot for the ungrateful. You've done enough. Quit trying to act like these swords was not in your back. It's enough. It's time to stop. It's time to stop. It's time for that ending to happen. And it's time for that new beginning. Because guess what? Towards the bottom deck, Empress in Reverse. You weren't happy. You were not happy wherever you were at. Now you're becoming like the ri the Phoenix rising. Okay? Now you're rising from the ashes. And now everybody want to act like, you know, oh, no, you know, Taurus still love me. Well, we're going to be together forever. Like, they've been putting up my shit for a long time. Uh, I think not. Okay? Because this Ten of Swords being the first tarot card to come out, that is definitely an ending. All right? Sorry, y'all. My niece keeps going in and out. Yep, exactly. Thank you. Spirit judgment. You're making the right judgment, Taurus. If you ever sat there and felt like, hey, am I making the wrong judgment? No, you're not. No, you're not. You're making the right one. It's time, Taurus, for you to revive yourself, okay? It's time to resuscitate your life. It's time for you to resuscitate your energy. It's time for that. It's no time to keep sitting back in, in, in old cycles and dealing with people that just ain't ready to change, but they want to put on a facade like, I'm ready for this and I'm ready for that. Just hold on a little longer. No, I ain't got no little longer, okay? I know I got a future. I know I got a tomorrow, okay? And I'm hoping I got a tomorrow. See, that's even worse because tomorrow's not promised to anybody. So if that, hope, if that hopeful energy for tomorrow and being optimistic is there, why do it, Taurus, with someone that's going to continuously stab you in the back? When you already know what they moves are. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to try something different. Y'all know I dealt with my deck. Now look at the bottom of this deck. Okay? Ten of Swords again. Make it make sense. Why stick around something like that? Uh -huh. Feminine energy spirit. Gain energy for Taurus. Taurus, the energy that you, like, carry, this energy, this creative, like, you're very creative. It's exciting to me. Two cups in reverse. Yes, right judgment, Taurus, to move away from something. It's exciting to me. I don't know how to put it. It's energetic. I'm feeling the energy, Taurus. Like you breaking away from something old that you kept trying to revive, but every time the outcome would be the same. Ten of Swords. It's like I tried to mother this. I tried to nurture it. I tried to set good intentions. I tried to love it. I tried to give it peace. I tried to water it. And why does this end up happening? Taurus no longer. I don't have to be thinking about that. There's somebody new coming in. Okay, there's somebody new spirit. Let's speak of this new person, this union. Now someone wants to take full responsibility for all the things they've done. They screwed up, okay? And they know they have. Now it's a waiting game. Taurus ain't going nowhere. Huh. Huh. Taurus is I'm connecting with. They, 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 most of them are going somewhere, homie. Okay? Take the burst of bubble or the glasses you're wearing, the shades, whatever. But, nah, they're going somewhere. Thank you, Eight of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. Walking away from the old. Right after this Two Cups came out. Two Cups to Eight of Cups is Ten of Cups. This is in the reverse and this is in the upright. It shows towards that you just do not have no more damn love to give to this situation. You have no more. You've done seeped yourself out of all your energy to give. So now it's time to just look. I'm tired of trying to stack cups, okay? I, I don't want to do this no more. This, this sucks. I'm tired of doing this. Thank you, Spirit. Justice in the upright, like I said before. This is something justified towards. This is something you deserve. I, and like I said, babes, it's not something that's just going to be so beautiful and never no arguments over the same or completely no towards, but somebody's going to meet you on your level. You ain't going to have to keep teaching them how to treat you. They're going to know. You will have disagreements in everything you do. Thank you, Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Aces from the divine is always a blessing. Whether they're in the reverse or whether they're in the upright, it's a blessing. It's an ace, honey, okay? It's an ace. And right up underneath that ace, we got the King of Wands. King of Wands. Truth be told, with this Ace of Swords, truth be told, Taurus, you have the confidence to be this new you. You have the confidence. You have the confidence 
to be you. You have the confidence to do this new thing here. It's your justice. This is what you deserve. And you've been, and the thing is, Taurus, you ain't really had to put much work into doing it. You just have to sit there, Taurus, and contemplate and think, is it really worth to keep putting this back together when I already know what the outcome's going to be? When I already know what the outcome's going to be, is it worth me sticking around? For many of you, like I said, you're going to go ghost. You're going to leave. You're going to walk away. Some of you have family and children with this person, so it will be completely hard to cut off communication. I'll tell you right now, you got a baby mama or a baby daddy, that's going to make it very hard for you. They're going to try everything they can to make sure that you are stuck in the mud. But guess what? When you got God, anything's possible. The justice card is here. Things are going to be made fair for you. You walking away, taking that big leap of faith towards that step. Okay? What many people don't say about the Eight of Cups is that's a big, huge step to walk away. It is a big, huge step to walk away from a mindset, from walking away from a mindset of feeling like I don't deserve better. When you finally do that thing, Taurus, let me tell you, you do it physically, but when you do it emotionally and energetically, oh man, that is a huge step. And I want to say congratulations. Congratulations. Because there's a Taurus here that's ready. Like I said, the Phoenix rising, this, this feminine energy that you have about you, you like to make sure, you know, I started this, I planted these seeds and I want them to grow. And I'm not going to go anywhere until they do grow. Taurus, you did all you could. For some of you, 10 to 20 years, you did all you could. Pay your swords in the upright. And now everybody has nothing to do but to watch. And Taurus, as you go to this justice energy, you're going to start learning more things about yourself. You're going to learn about the outside world, what other things and people and situations and places and things have to offer. It's not always sad endings. It's not always misery. It's not always pain. Okay, I love this energy because I see this page of swords looking over at the two of cups in the reverse. Thinking and look at the sword. Ready to slice and dice whenever possible. Taurus, be very mindful, like I said before. When this offer comes in, take a look at it, okay? Don't shut it out just because somebody else didn't do you right. All right? Don't shut it out. All right? Spirit, what we got for cold energy here for Taurus? Wow, yeah. The lovers and the upright. The lovers, Taurus, here in the upright. And let me tell y'all, this Gemini energy, Taurus, you don't have to go cold on somebody else. You're not going to be able to sit there, Taurus, and give this person the same thing you was giving them before. The person that stabbed you in the back, whoever it is, this could be family, you guys. This had to be love. It could be friends, family, coworkers, whatever it was, an old job, whatever it was, Taurus, we're going towards new. Okay? You gave all that maternal energy, Taurus, to be stabbed in the back like this? I think you didn't. I don't think that was your intention. I don't think you was like, yeah, go on ahead, do it. My back is here. I'm ready for it. Get that sword ready and just go on ahead and stab me. Uh-uh. No, I don't think that was your intentions at all. I think somebody knows now that they are full of F. They're full of F. Full of F shit. That's what they're full of. Okay, I don't want to say the whole thing because, you know, I'm trying to live on my cursing the words. <laughs> baby, now I'll be looking at me like, why did you have to go that far? <laughs> She's my little baby too, y'all. She be watching me. Y'all could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Y'all could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Y'all could also be dealing with the Libra. I feel Libra here strongly. Okay, Gemini energy. This lover's energy, Taurus, okay? It's going to put you this union. This union. Now someone wants to take responsibility. You know, I screwed up and this and that. Taurus, the time is now, okay? It's about to become cold outside. Let's just go ahead and say that. Taurus, the silent energy... The, observ the, op the, the observing that you're going to be doing on your own life versus what was going on with something, someone or something from the past. Taurus, you're not going to blend those together. I don't know what Taurus this is, but they know how to, com they know compartmentalization. They know exactly where to put things where they are. And they leave them there neatly. I don't know who, I don't know what Taurus I'm connecting with, babe, but I'm vibing with you. You might have Gemini somewhere in your chart, but this is absolutely beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Look into the divine. It's two people looking at the divine. Look at this. And this divine is looking at, it's up in the air with the, with the beautiful wings, okay? With the beautiful red wings with passion. To me, it looks like the, wow. It looks like the, uh, the divine is actually holding their hands against their heart like Taurus. Congratulations. You finally see what we've been trying to give you. You finally see your worth. You finally see that you can do better things, that you can be creative and playful, and you can be loved and cared for. You can be adored and you can be nurtured by someone other than you giving it to yourself and everybody else that knocks at your door for it. I love it. I love it. Spirit, give me one more for two more. Thank you, Spirit. Two of Swords. We've got the Nine of Cups. Now, ain't that about a mother, Ephatoris? We come from the Eight to the Nine. 
Two in the reverse, eight in the upright to the nine. Like I said, I'm congratulations, Taurus. This eight of cups in the upright is not easy to come by. All right, baby. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to be honest with you. It takes some time. It really takes some serious, really self-reflecting, really a lot of courage to say, you know what? I think I'm done trying to stack up love and cups and things like that and filling them on my own. I want somebody that's going to work with me. If they, if I'm not going to have nobody to work with me, Taurus, I'm not saying you're, you're desperate. If I can't find somebody to work with me, man, I'm just going to walk on. I'm going I'm to keep going. It's all right. It's all right. We had a good run. It was a long one, and it was stressful. But guess what? I don't know. Like I said, Taurus, I don't know what tomorrow's promised. And I don't want to stand here slaving away, trying to stack up cups like a damn tower, okay, for it to all fall apart. Where's my ninth cup? You keep looking for it, Taurus. You keep searching for it, expecting to get it from somebody that's supposed to be in a partnership with you. An equal give and take partnership, may I add. You have a good judgment here by walking away and going towards your justice. It's time. Because you definitely weren't going to get it where you were at. And little did you see it. Because you were told little truth. Okay? But you you were getting clarity, Taurus. The page of swords ain't no punk. Okay? Look at how she's swiftly holding that sword. Ready to slice through any lies that comes her way. His way. It doesn't matter. Ready for the new. Ready for the new. And we just saw that ace of swords in the upright. It's a beautiful blessing, Taurus, in disguise. Nine of Cups, eight to the nine. After this, this partnership, Taurus, a lot of you are manifesting it. Some of you haven't even met this person yet. A lot of you are manifesting this new partnership, and you're going to get exactly what you want. And you have the right to sit there looking sedity, looking like you're entitled, because you, you deserve it. Look at all these swords and this person's back over here, Taurus. Have we looked at this? You might have found something on a cell phone or something like that, or... Found somebody doing something online that was shady, and you kept trying to mother them and try to return a lot. You know, try to be maternal, you know. I want to keep the family together. I want it to grow. We saw the Empress in the reverse. Nothing was growing. Okay, the deception, the lies was growing, but damn, I don't want all that. Get that shit out of my family. Come on now. Come on. And that's why I couldn't find my Knight of Cups. Because you kept taking it away, giving it to other people. Think of the Knight of Cups. I don't know why I'm seeing that right now. Two of Swords, Taurus in the reverse. Two of Swords in the reverse. You see clearly now. Now, you, you used to be in this energy where, I don't know how long this connection is. You know what? I see some potential. Uh, look, as soon as they start showing me facades, I start seeing potential as well. They saw us were very, 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 very sincere, weren't they, Taurus? Very unbelievable. Like salt and salt and uh, sugar. You got to make sure you dip your finger and taste and make sure, hmm. It's not like somebody blended these together. I don't trust it. And if <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, Taurus. I'm coming, but I am really getting over my cold, okay? I really am. It was so bad, like, three, four days ago. It was, every time I talk, I used to sound like I was trying to struggle to talk, Taurus. So I'm so thankful to God. Okay, the bottom of the deck, we got the, uh, the Scorpio energy, the death card, exactly with the Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you guys, Taurus, something's ending so something new can begin. Don't be scared. Don't be scared of the tens. Don't be scared. Don't be. <laughs> Taurus, I'm sorry, guys. Don't be scared. Don't be scared, y'all. I'm sorry like that. Taurus, this is this this ten of pentacles, love. Okay, you had to go through this, but spirit needed you to see it for yourself, Taurus. That. Look, Taurus, enough is enough, babe. All right, your judgment to walk away from something that's just no longer serving you. It's no longer doing right for you. That beautiful energy you have is meant to go into union. This will be your justice once you walk away from this. But you got to walk away from it completely. You can't stay there kind of having feelings and still attached. And, oh, they made, a, they made a sad face. I think I need to go back and love again and give them some, some nurturing. No, 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 no. This is somebody that's for sure what they want to do. They want to end something so they can move on to something that's going to be decent. Something that's going to be loving, creative. I felt hopeful energy here. I felt hopeful energy, and you see it, Taurus, clear as day. You see it, all right? You see it, and you're going to go for it quick. Look, Taurus, some of y'all, is going to happen quick, and it's going to make you so damn happy. Leo energy. Aries Leo Sag here, heavy. Aries Leo Sag, and look, you got somebody in the waiting game sending back their codependent Taurus, wanting to come in, and they want to come in passionately. Because why? Like I said, Taurus, I take full responsibility for my actions now. I screwed up. Oh, now? Now, that was funny, Taurus, that came out after that union card came out. So I went ahead and laid it there, okay? Hey, don't say what you want, okay? Say what you want. Then look, cracking the deck, Ace of Pentacles. 
Look, crack in the deck. Look at this. Okay? The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Look at this. Seven of Swords in reverse. It's time towards that the Seven of Swords in the reverse that came along. Because you need to see things for what they were. You need to look at them for what they were. And there's no hiding them. There's no hiding. That's why I said, Taurus, you're very courageous. I just don't... I don't understand where you pulled off the energy, Taurus. Because somebody here was able to gaslight your ass like there was no tomorrow. They was able to do the spirit. Give me some fat. That two of cups for Taurus. Give me some fat two of cups. Now looking at me like, when are you going to end this reading? Oh, yeah. Because I'm already 30 minutes in. I see why she's looking like that. All right, baby. I'm about to see. Look at this. Ten pillars. This ain't your person. That wasn't your person. It wasn't. It, it just. They're meant to come into your life, Taurus, for a season. But it just wasn't it. Ten of Pentacles clarifying the two cups in the reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh, man. With Ten of Swords in the upright. But then here, Taurus, we got the Death card with the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Underneath the Lover's card. Then we got Union in the middle here. Oh, yeah, y'all, Taurus. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. It's what I've been feeling, Taurus. And this is a tower. A good tower. Aha. That's why I couldn't get that person to cooperate with me. That's why. That's why they kept keeping me vulnerable. Feeling like I couldn't get away from them, Tori. Look, there goes that ace. Of, I told y'all I felt that knight of cups. I told y'all you was wondering, like, where's that knight of cup at? Like, looking around, like, what? Because I'm if I had it. And they was giving to everybody else, Taurus, except you. It's like they was doing it on purpose. Like, they don't want you to be happy. That's crazy to me. Man, Taurus, no. No, 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 no. Okay? Let's see what this person may have to say to you, Taurus. It's in this waiting game energy. Some of y'all are getting divorced. Some of you are not. Somebody's waiting for you to, um, they want to say they love you now, okay? They want to say they love you now because now they can, you know, even though it's sad, but that's how most human works. They see your worth when you're with someone else or doing something somewhere else and not them. They finally see it. But to me, Taurus, that's just like, it's a shaggy rug that you just don't feel like cleaning. It's like, come on now. Come on now. Like, come come better. Come on. Come come better than that. Okay? Come better than that. Somebody, finances were a problem with this person. Maybe Taurus, they were going through your bank accounts and things like that. Emptying out your bank. I'm not saying you broke or, you know, whatever it may be. Shit, some of us is broke. You know, okay, who, you know, shit, it happens. But maybe someone was doing some off the wall shit. There's no way you could build Ten of Pentacles and somebody keep taking the Pentacle. Like, I think you put some of that back. I don't know how much that purse was them shoes were. Put that back, man. Come on. You know gas is expensive. We just spent the last on the groceries. We have been doing our best to buy. <laughs> We've been doing our best to budget things here. All right? I know I just got paid, but damn. I want at least to I want at least want to look at zeros for at least 48 hours before they just start shrinking. Give me some time to, to reminisce. Okay? I check on you from afar. Yeah, Taurus, someone from your past is checking on you from afar, and they're in the waiting game energy. Okay? Soulmate. Uh-huh. They are soulmate, Taurus, but not all soulmates are meant to stick. Some are meant to show us a lesson. All right? And then we got fights, arguments, and conflicts. This is what they want to bring to you. This is what they want you to say. Was They want you to say, like I said to the and Taurus, this person's waiting on you to say, Taurus, um, or look, Crosswatcher, this would be you, Taurus. Look, Crosswatcher, it was not as green as I thought it was going to be. Um, I'd rather come back to conflicts and arguments and things like that instead of coming to union with someone that really wants to build with me. Uh, let's go ahead and um, take back the transaction of change and, you know, um, making that step that I wanted to make, which is like, you know, truly make the transition to move forward and be happy and stable. Let's take that back. You're my wish fulfillment. Okay. So when's our next argument? What time is that scheduled for? No. No. Spirit wants you to practice forgiveness. Okay, of course, of course. But don't mean you gotta put up with this. No. <laughs> Hell no. Okay, just let me say it. No. You just no, 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 and no, 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 Taurus, you're not gonna do it. And you may love this person. Y'all had a family together, or y'all were actually married or thinking about getting married, okay? This might have been, this in Taurus, I don't think anything happens by accident. But somebody took advantage way too much. A little too much, okay? A little too much. Let me give you something on that. Check on you from afar. Oh. Mature woman in the reverse. Somebody's mad. Somebody's uh, uh, mom is mad. Somebody might have been financing their mom through you, Taurus, or a family member. I don't know why I kept saying I see zeros shrinking. 
And then the lovers in the upright, they're watching you love somebody else or they're about to. The lovers is out here twice. And this is not a check on you from afar. This is where it landed. So, Taurus, they, they watch you from afar. And somebody's in the waiting game, literally, like I said, waiting for you to say, oh, yep, the mistake was over there with that new person. Jeez, I'm glad to be back in these arguments, fights, and conflicts. Ugh. Let's start this off right. Let's be so negative. Let's go on ahead and start isolating ourselves. Let's start feeling depressed. Let's feel this discouraged. No, Taurus. X that out. X that out. Somebody right now, Taurus, in this world, in this universe, in this place that God has given us. This beautiful blessing, Taurus, is thinking about you. And I think you got an X thinking about you, too. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, look. When I see the X thinking about you, despair is at the back. Okay? Family room in the reverse. Taurus, somebody might have had a mother, or you might have had a mother-in-law, or somebody's mom was very much in the middle of y'all's connection, trying to get money off of you or something. Yeah, look, and then I split the deck and coffins here. It was time for this transformation. It was. Spirit wants you to practice forgiveness, you know, forgive these individuals, but don't forget. Taurus, I love y'all with all my heart. Sorry for all the interruption in the background. Y'all know, y'all know my girls, okay, y'all know, especially Nala. She's laying down now. She's looking at me. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> she just like, my other baby is in there just chilling. And then I got not the fur one that's more concerned about me. What? what, what? <laughs> okay. Taurus, I love you guys with all my heart. So my sister, I love you. They're lying. They're lying, loves. Okay. I hope you have a fantastic Thursday, Taurus. Take good care of yourselves. Be faithful to you. Be aware, Taurus, of your power. Continue to keep it. Continue to respect yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. Be proud of who you are, Taurus. And I'm definitely proud of you for any Taurus that's walked away for good. They've had enough. And you have somebody that's in the waiting game. They waiting. And look how it says waiting game. Like, this is a damn fat game to somebody. Like, they think you're not going to go nowhere. But anyway, y'all know the reading, okay? I love you guys so much, Taurus. Take care. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.